remember in the 90s and early 2000s when you just came home after school and did a little homework and watched a little TV and specifically Cartoon Network and uh, you turn it on and it's Toonami and you're watching shows like DBZ and Tenji Muyo and Reboot and some other shows. And just remember when Cartoon Network used to go hard. Uh, Dexter's Lab, um, Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, Powerpuff Girls. Anyways, um, I was just really interested about this today because I was watching this video uh, from Neil Gamespark about anime versus cartoons. And um, a lot of people are thinking that anime is just full of storylines and, you know, fillers. And people think cartoons have no decent plot. Well, you know, just like he said, there's there's two different audiences and, you know, some people like some people might like it and some people might be entertained and it might spark some interest, but you know, it's just people complaining on both sides. Everyone wants to debate nowadays. Um, so I was tearing waking up. Um Yeah, uh today when I was watching Cartoon Network, uh well I I'm, I'm always watching Cartoon Network, you know, Pokemon, uh Adventure Time, what else comes on? That Thundercats anime is pretty cool. Uh, but Adventure Time is some kind of show you watch when you're really, really, really high. Like, you know. And they got some other show called Regular Show. What the fuck is that? That That's the most laziest show I've ever heard of. Regular Show. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But the reason I'm doing this blog is because I feel like anime is dying. Like, it, like, 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 like it's becoming overrated a little bit. And I love anime and manga as much as the next person. But mm, when you watch animes like Full Metal and Cowboy Bebop and Kakaishi a lot, and you've seen all the episodes, you're wondering, okay, when's Adult Swim or Cartoon Network going to get some more anime? Because personally, I would love to see that uh, anime fairy tale because I've seen like the first couple episodes and I was blown away, y'all. Now that was really entertaining, and a lot of people are comparing it to One Piece. And first off, it, it's two different things. Uh, fairy tale deals with guilds, and One Piece deals with pirates. But you know, to each its own. A lot of people are saying that uh, um, the fairy tale won't come to um, Adult Swim because Stuart Snyder or some guy, you know. The, uh, the Cartoon Network, basically, Adult Swim and Cartoon Network are trying to branch out into real live-action shows, and I don't know what's going on because it's not working at all. Because Fully Cooly, what the fuck is Fully Cooly? I was watching that shit the other day. I was lost in the sauce, y'all. I was like, well, huh? You know, dude hitting the baseball, the world, the earth blows up, and... And Bleach, don't get me started on Bleach. Bleach is so confusing. I just turn the channel. I just wait for Full Metal to come on. Like, I don't fucking get Bleach at all. I'm not even a Bleach fan like that, you know. Um, I don't know what Adult Swim's doing, but they need to get, like, a new lineup of anime. And um, Stuart Snyder is, I guess, a dick. Because apparently uh, Naruto was on Cartoon Network at first. And I didn't know that, to be honest with y'all. I wasn't a big Naruto fan. When um, it came out, I remember in high school, people used to dress up like Naruto, you know, little headbands and all that. I was like, what the fuck are they doing? And then uh, now, when I was in college uh, a couple years ago, um, I graduated, by the way. Um, uh, I was watching uh, The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes on Disney XD. And then after that, uh, Naruto came on. I was like, oh, this is that show that the people in high school used to watch. And it was actually really cool. It was that Naruto Shippuden or something. It was pretty cool, y'all. I'll admit it. And now I'm a fan of Naruto. I got the first three uh, volumes, you know, the, the three and one uh, uh, books. Yeah. And, I'm, uh, and it, it, it's just taking a toll how manga and anime have come a long way. Because I remember back in, when I was in elementary school, uh, they would have, at Barnes & Noble, they would have the comics uh, section, but it wasn't filled with manga. You know, fast forward years later, you know, everyone's at the manga section, you know. Uh, you know, I can't, I could barely get a seat at Barnes & Noble, because every time I'm at the uh, manga section, you know, it's a crowd of uh, people my age, or maybe younger, or maybe even older. You know, or they're um, hogging the section, you know, taking their good time, trying to find a book. Like, man, just pick a damn book already, and, you know. I want to talk about this real quick. One Piece. Uh, Y'all know I had a One Piece blog like a couple um, well, last year. And um, if you're trying to get into One Piece real short, 
you know, this is a good one. The New World, the New World arc. Um, it's kind of like reading the first first uh, volume a little bit because if, um, if you open it, it'll tell you like stories that happened uh, from one through sixty one. You know, from the first volume all the way till now. So you, you, if you trying to get into Naruto and you trying to catch up, you know, you could pick up this one, Volume Sixty One. You'll just be a little lost, but it does kind of have some introduction. And since this is the New World arc about Luffy uh, and his team two years later after his brother Ace has died and his team is training, and if you pick it up, you'll understand why. And it's it's a very fantastic volume. I loved it, and I'm a one piece. I'm always a One Piece fan. I love manga. But do you see? But do you see how manga has taken a toll? And if us fans can come together and we can write networks and we can, I don't know, uh, uh, protest and petition, we can get some more anime to different stations, not just Cartoon Network or Adult Swim. We can. I remember uh, Sci-Fi had an anime lineup, or maybe still do. I don't know because you know I'm working during that time, and. MTV always posts stuff, mtvgeek.com always posts stuff about uh, Rurouni Kenshin. They have, I guess they're coming out with a new uh, Rurouni Kenshin uh, anime. And I was uh, telling them on Twitter, like, y'all should get an anime block. I was telling MTV because MTV followed me on Twitter. And if we can do that, you know, we can tell, even even uh, the G4 has an anime lineup. Well, even though it's Marvel anime, but still, if we can come together and tell Nicktoons, Disney XD, uh, Cartoon Network, MTV, BET, I don't know, but we could just keep protesting, petitioning, maybe we can have some more anime, but, you know, there is a difference, you know, because a lot of the anime that are coming out today are pretty mainstream, you know, a lot of people, it, 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 it's too Americanized, you know, like that Bakugan and that Yu-Gi-Oh, one, I don't watch those at all, but I see how anime has taken a toll on inspiring other, other um, cartoons, per se, like, Boondocks is, without Boondocks, without Samurai Shampoo or Cowboy Bebop, there's no Boondocks. I know Boondocks was started off as a comic strip, but Aaron Magruder specifically said himself, without those two shows, there'd be no Boondocks. And I can see why, because the fight scenes on uh, Boondocks are compared to uh, Cowboy Bebop's and Samurai Shampoo. And without, and you just, I already mentioned that Thundercats anime, and then there's Teen Titans, you know, Teen Titans uh, had, like, some anime um, inspiration. Uh... Monsuno, that new show that's on uh, Nicktoons, it's actually pretty cool, y'all, and um, Airbender, y'all already know Airbender is anime inspired, but just remember coming home after school, you know, whether it be Kid WB or Fox Kids, they don't have those stations no more, man, the 90s are so all that, aren't they, y'all, uh, and I, I miss the 90s, but, you know, a lot of, you know, cause we have these channels now where people could just watch, you know, all that shit all day, but it'd be cool if, uh, if y'all keep protesting and if we come together, you know, whether you love anime or cartoons, but anime is here to stay. If we keep supporting you, you know, go out and buy the DVDs, man. Keep supporting the mangas. Uh, keep watching it on Dose Swim. Whether they're reruns, you know, keep the ratings flowing. And maybe we can open up, well, they can open up and make us have more anime. Because anime is not going to die. And... Even though it may be becoming overrated, it, it it has taken a toll and paid homage with other people. Like Soldier Boy got that song out called Goku and uh, bitch I look like Goku, bitch I look like Vegeta. I'm hopping out that old school. Even though the song really had nothing to do with Goku and Dragon Ball Z, and it's kind of stupid, it was still a cool little song though. But other than that, y'all, uh, what do y'all think is better, anime? Or cartoons because you know cart anime is full-fledged with storylines and i get that and you know i want to watch the I, I love good stories and cartoons are supposed to make you laugh like south park uh, boondocks family guy i want to laugh you know i know anime has may, may have um a few little haha -ha moments but you know it's really melodramatic though i'm not gonna lie but if you watch stuff like family guy or simpsons or the shows i just named south park or even the game it's on bt well, that's in the cartoon, but that's a different story, but I just want to laugh, and, you know, anime that can't die, and, yeah, we have to do our part.